Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a New Balance unboxing. These are the New Balance 530s. They are all the rage right now. Again, the Gen Zs have made them popular. They're a retro sneaker that has been reissued and due to the popularity of the 2000s Y2K style, then they have garnered popularity once again. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by this year. So if these are the kinds of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below and if you want to connect with me in my socials it's at Trish DLM. So I'm going to be unboxing the New Balance 530s with you guys. I got them straight from the New Balance store. The store just had a restock and because I didn't want to buy from a reseller I went to the store right away to check for my size and thankfully they had my size. So this it's the box that it came in. It just has the New Balance logo. So the style code is just MR530RS and I got it in the men's six and a half. That's a Euro 39 and a half, which translates to an eight women's. Before I open the box to show you guys the colorway that I got, I would first like to say that this purchase has been heavily influenced by my friend Zach. So Zach, if you're watching, that's all your fault. My friend Zach, who's not even an influencer, kept on sharing New Balance sneakers on his IG story. Like he would just share aesthetic posts of like New Balance sneakers, not necessarily the 530s, but like generally the popular New Balance sneakers, I guess. I don't really know their models. But he would just share, like they're not even his photos, they're like the posts of like other Instagram influencers and he would just share them on his stories. And he shared them so often that I got influenced. So I just saw them so often on my feed and I finally noticed the sneakers and that's what made me start researching into New Balance. This brand, however, has been in the game for a while though. Like I remember even back in high school, these were literally like our PE sneakers. New Balance sneakers were our PE sneakers. So it's just really like a cycle. Everything goes back into fashion. I remember back in high school, I even used to join like fun runs, like the 3K, 5K types of fun runs. And my dad always told me to buy New Balance for my running shoes because they were like really good with running shoes. So yeah, these are definitely a throwback. And it's interesting to see how the Gen Z have styled them up and made them popular again. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to open the box to show you guys the colorway that I got. And this is just what the box looks like. And it says these silver ones. So I'll just bring those out. So these are the sneakers. They're the New Balance 530s in the silver metallic. And this comes with like grayish laces, but it also comes with an additional extra pair of white laces. So these sneakers were made popular again by Kendall Jenner and you know her crew. Kendall was spotted wearing these from the gym. She had like a paparazzi photo leaving the gym and she was wearing these sneakers. So that's why everyone jumped into the trend again. So a lot of her crew actually uh, wore these a lot as well. That's why it got really popular. The colorway that Kendall wore was in the white, silver, navy, and that's the most popular colorway because obviously it's the one she wore. So a lot of the influencers actually have that colorway, and it's the one that's kind of selling for a premium. Actually, a lot of the 530s right now, resellers are still marking it up. They're like basically finishing all the stocks from the stores and putting a markup on it just because of the hype and the popularity. But yeah, since I was able to chance up on a restock before the other resellers could get to them, I was able to get mine at SRP. So at SRP, this was at 6000 pesos from the store and the resellers are selling them for I think like 8.5 so I had the option to get like the white silver navy one which is the popular color I had the option to get that from resellers but when I went to the store I could get this colorway at SRP and we love ourselves a good SRP shoe so that's why I got this. I honestly really love the white silver navy version. I think it's like the OG 530s. However, if you're given the chance to get an SRP shoe then you just bite the bullet and get it and I think this colorway is great as well. So at the store because they just did a restock I think there were like three colorways available. There was the white Munsell, there was this which is the silver metallic and then there was another one which is like more of like an all leather version and it was kind of like white as well. Like it was like an off-white kind of and that one was like mostly leather whereas this one and the white monsel still had that like net mesh effect with the synthetic leather. So the reason that I got the silver metallic version versus the white monsel was that the white monsel was just like too white. There were like some parts that were silver but their logo wasn't really seen anymore because it was almost like stark white so the entire shoe just looked like a basic white shoe. I felt like it didn't really have any depth to it because it was all white so I prefer this because at least like you can still see like different shapes and different colors of the silver especially when the light hits it the more that you can see the depth of the shoe so I'll just do a quick tour of the sneakers these are 
again the New Balance 530s in the silver metallic version. It's made with a synthetic leather and a mesh upper. And as you can see, it has different shades of the silver. There's that more of metallic silver, but there's also that silver which is kind of like a moonbeam. It's like a lighter shade of silver when light shines on it. It gives us like really light hint of gold. Very light. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But I feel like that's what makes the shoe interesting because of that light gold hint when the light touches this silver part. And on the sole, it's a little bit different because it's light gray. The other 530s, their sole is usually black. But this one, because it's in a silver metallic colorway, the sole of this one is in light gray as well. On the side of the shoe, it just says the shoe model, which is 530. And it has this logo over here, which has absorbed, to signify that this shoe has absorbed cushioning, which is a technology of New Balance for their sole. Now, I haven't worn these sneakers out yet, but when I did try them on, they seemed very comfortable and they are definitely lightweight. Lightweight to the point that when I came out of the store with a paper bag, I felt like I wasn't really carrying any shoes inside of it. I felt like I was just carrying the paper bag because of how light these shoes are. So because of that, I would also like to talk about the quality because it was so light that it just almost felt kind of flimsy to me. I also did watch some reviews on the shoe prior to buying and they kind of said the same thing that it kind of had a cheap feel to it which I kind of agree because I didn't really do much research on it prior to actually purchasing. I usually prefer my shoes to be genuine leather so when I went to the store I asked them if it was genuine leather and mesh and they told me that yes it was genuine leather which is why I didn't have any second thoughts upon buying it. However when I got home I did more research and apparently this is only synthetic leather. So that was kind of disappointing because we all know synthetic leather never really lasts very long so I am giving this shoe probably like three years before it dies. Also I saw a YouTube review where the mesh already had holes in it like this mesh and actually like touching it right now this does seem like a very fragile mesh and I wouldn't be surprised if the same thing would happen to me. However, I have not worn these out yet so we will see. I can just make a follow-up review later on. Now for the sizing, I got a 6.5 men's which is equivalent to 8 women's. I also did try a 6 men's which is equivalent to 7.5 women's and that also fit me but it fit me just right, like just right there. So with regard to like actual comfortability I felt like the eight women's or the six and a half men's fit my foot more. Do note though that I have a wide foot. I feel like that's why I felt more comfortable with a six and a half. However, if you do have a narrow foot, I feel like you do just fine with a six men's. And for reference, my shoe sizing is usually a seven Y in like Nike and Adidas, which is basically like the youth size. In Zara shoes, I'm a Euro 39, especially with like the flats. However, in heels and in designer heels, I am usually a 38. But yeah, most sneakers and also the Veja sneakers, I'm a Euro 38 in those as well. So yeah, because this is kind of a unisex shoe, the sizing might be a little different. Because on the tags, this says that this is a Euro 39 and a half. But that's because it's unisex. So yeah, just some points to think about. But generally, really, I am an 8 women's and a 7 youth in like the Nike and Adidas sneakers. So yeah, that was my review of the new Balance 530s in the silver metallic. I'm so excited to be wearing these retro sneakers out because they're such a nostalgic throwback to the 2000s. I definitely think that the Gen Z's have styled them really well and these sneakers look very fashionable and very in trend when styled. And even if I don't wear them out with like stylish fits, with like those trendy Gen Z outfits, I feel like these would even look great even just at the gym. So it says the running shoes so I feel like this would also be an appropriate footwear for the gym. Though I don't think I'll use it for running because I have actual running shoes but I feel like for other gym workouts these would be such a great shoe for that. But casually I think these would go with a lot of outfits as well. I have a lot of basic clothes in my wardrobe and I feel like this would match my wardrobe really well. Like these are the perfect shoes for just like a basic white shirt, jeans, and like a big hobo bag, or like anything black and white, a huge blazer, a crop top inside, and then like leggings that would look really good with these as well. So yeah, I feel like these have a lot of styling choices and these shoes would really complete and jazz up any casual fit. So that's about it for my review of the New Balance 530s. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to the YouTube algorithm and if you want to connect with me on my socials, it's at ChurchDLF. Again, I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by this year so I would really appreciate it if you click the subscribe button down below to join the family. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.